Hey everyone, Tony Winston here, Jazz Piano College. I'm going to do this Pokemon song somebody requested, and I'm going to explain the chords and like how a jazz musician would approach this song. Let me go through the introduction first, and it's just some simple chords here. An F minor, an E dominant seventh, an E flat minor seventh, and then we have this big jazz chord that's played as an arpeggio. I'm gonna start at an octave higher than it's written because I don't think it sounds very good down here. Right? Maybe on a digital piano, but not on a real piano. So I'm gonna play the A flat as an octave and then start here. Then I'm gonna play the A flat again right here. And it's the same four notes, like a G flat, F, C, and E flat. You just Play the A flat again, same four notes, G flat, F, C, E flat, and one more time. And then you come down this, this chord, which is a minor seven flat five, E flat minor seven flat five. I do it with two fingers. Then we hit the A flat again. You could do it with uh, four fingers, go five, three, two, one, five, three, two, one, five, three, two, one. And then we have the A flat seven again. Now this is A flat seven. And if we add this note, it's an A flat seven with a flat nine. And that's what we're doing here in inversions. And this by itself, you can call a diminished chord. And then it kind of goes got this little chord here okay now this is the interesting part of the song for me we have a D flat major seventh and uh, let me show you in, in C major what that would look like C E G B so C major seventh if you move every note up just one half step You get D flat major seventh, and the left hand does the same chord. So now here's that chord we talked about before the E flat minor seventh with a flat five. We've lowered that five, so we're going to do that chord, and the left hand does the same. Same notes back again. Again, the E flat minor seven flat five. Now, this is very much like that C major seventh I was talking about. This is a G flat major seventh. So we have a G flat major chord, and that's the root again, and this is the major seventh. So we call this G flat major seventh. First it's G flat and then it becomes G flat major seventh in the left hand. But with the pedal down you hear all those notes. So it's G flat major seventh. In the next measure it's G flat minor with a major seventh. And that's a, that's a strange sounding chord but you've heard it before. It's kind of like a mysterious sounding chord. And it has a funny name, G flat minor major seventh. G flat minor with a major seventh. All right, and notice, now I haven't talked about this yet, but you see in this chord that since they call this B flat, when we lower it again, it's B double flat, and that's what those two little flats mean. So we have it here in the grace notes too, right there. Okay, that, that, it's, a, it's a small note there, it's hard to see, but that's a B double flat. And that's the correct way to, to call it. And then, you know, you see that B flat that's tied over there, but you know that's a double flat also because it's in the same measure, so. And now 
Now that's all the free sheet music I could find, so I wrote out the rest here on the next page, and it's very similar. Okay, let's go over that. All right, so that's the melody. And the chord is F minor seventh. Hands playing this pattern. Okay, just moving around on the chord. That is a big B flat major chord. So we've taken this note and doubled it, and we've played the root down here, and the fifth, and the root again. And right there is B flat, but we've added this note for a little bit of color. And then it's kind of the same thing again. I keep doing it wrong. last measure there is what you call two against three. So the left hand is going like one, two, three, and the right hand is going one, two, and three, like that. One, one, two, and three, four. All right, and that's not really the right way to count it exactly, but that will give you the right result. And the C just goes in between those two notes. So. to really count it the right way. And then we go back and do it again. Now, the second time as you go through the song, you can do some variations. Take these chords and do arpeggios. No, G major, sorry. Oh. We do some arpeggios here also. Or this way. F minor. flat and I included that color note that color tone All right. now, there's lots of other things you could do too you could do some stuff with your left hand chords pretty well and can find the notes in the scale for each chord, then you can improvise and just make up your own melody.
Thanks everyone for tuning in to Pokemon Jazz. Hit the like and subscribe and I'll really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comments and I'll take a look at it. Thanks.